one lived a baker and his wife could arrange wishes for a child, but could not have one. They had a little window at the back of their house, which a splendid garden could be seen. The garden was full of the most beautiful flowers and herbs. It was, however, surrounded by a high wall, and no one dared to go into it because it belonged to a witch who had great power and was feared by the entire world. One day, the baker's wife was standing by the window and looking into the garden. When she saw the tasty bed of Rapunzel, she looked so fresh and green and she wanted some to eat. She wanted the Rapunzel very bad. This desire increased that every day. However, she knew that she could not get any of it any fail more pale and miserable each day. The baker was worried about her and asked what is wrong with my wife. Or she would cry if I don't eat some of the plants from the garden behind our house. I think I shall die. The man who loved her told later on that let my lovely wife down. I will bring her some of the plants of my son, no matter what the cost. In the middle of the night, he climbed our, uh, over the wall into the garden of the witch. Quickly grabbed a handful of Rapunzel and took it to his wife. She at once made herself a salad and ate it happily. However, she liked it so much that the next day she wanted it there times as much as before if he was to have any less her hundred husband but must one more go into the garden in the dusk of night he set out again but when he had climbed over the wall he was terribly afraid for he saw the witch standing there How dare you sneak into my garden and steal my Rapunzel lot of deep? You do suffer this sea salt with angry look. Oh no, the frightened husband answered, please have mercy. I have to have the Rapunzel. My wig saw it from the window and wanted it so much that she would have died if she said not a good son to it. Then the witch allowed her and her to be so sad, and she said to him, If this is true, I will allow you to, to take as much as you like. Only I make one condition. You must give me the baby daughter you are like. We are going into the world. She will be ill treated as, and I will care for it like a mother. The man in it fear a great man and when the baby was born, the witch appeared at once gave the child the name of Rapunzel and took the baby away with her. Rapunzel grew into the most beautiful child beneath the sun. When she was 12 years old, the witch shot her into a tower which lay in a forest. 
the tower had no stairs or door, but only a little window at the very top. When the witch went bed to go in, she stood beneath the window and cried, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. A poor fool threw up the flowers and went by the tower. He heard a song which was so lovely that he stood to listen. The, this was Rapunzel, who is known as past her time singing. The prince went to the twenty. To climb up to her and look for the door for the tower, but no noise was to be found. He rolled forward and went the same path so deeply touched his heart that every day he went out, out into the forest and listened to it. One day, when he was standing behind a tree listening to Rapunzel's song, he saw the witch come and heard her cry, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, then Rapunzel let down her hair, and the witch climbed up to her. Rapunzel went to the tower, but he not find the face and the room. But the uh, prince began to talk, talk to him like a friend and told him that he loved <coughs> he was singing that he wanted to marry her, that Rapunzel lost her peer of him. He asked her if, if she would marry um, be his wife, and she saw that he was kind and handsome. She said yes and kissed. Uh, and the kiss the and the hug him. She said, I will go away with you, but I do not know how to get down. From now on, bring a bit of rope with you. There, every time you come and I will make a ladder with you. With you. When that is ready, I will climb down. And we can escape the day of life and until that time we should come to God every night. Because the witch only came to the tower during the day. The witch knew nothing of this until one Rapunzel said in her description. Oh my, you are so much happier when you climb than the young prince. Ah, you wicked turd, cried the witch. What did you say? I thought I had said 
tolerated you from the entire world, but you have deceived me. Found a beautiful hand of prayer of scissor and seal to cut it all off. The found a lovely hair laid on the ground, but the witch was not there. She was so angry that she took poor Rapunzel into a desert where she had to live in the Great plans are missing. The witch rushed the dog back to the tower and fastened the blaze of hair which she had cut off to the hook of the window. And when the prince came and cried, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The witch ripped the hair down the prince blind to the window, but he died not friend has there opened the button in. instead the witch how gets the uh, time with a wig and a deadly look. Oh sick God. You will come for Rapunzel, but she is no longer here. Rapunzel is finished, and you will never see her again. Then he wanders blindly, blind about the forest, as nothing but root and bear and did nothing but cry because he had lost his dearest nothing. The prince longed in misery for some month and even purely. Came to the desert where the witch had bed sick, Rapunzel. He heard a voice singing and it seemed so familiar to him that he went toward it. When he approached Rapunzel, knew him and he into his arms and wept. He overheard that her on his eyes and the prince he see again. He led her to his kingdom and would up his bed, tried to his kingdom, the prince and